Wrestling stories are by far the most submitted question that I get for videos. So today I got a treat for you guys. But before we get into that, if you guys want to support me, if you want to show your love, get my name out there, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash rassle. Check out my Patreon. But jumping into today's story, I'm talking about two of my old teammates from college getting into a fight, all right? This is a pretty lengthy story, but I think it's pretty good and I think it's funny. But some things you have to understand, I'm changing their names for the sake of anonymity. There's two people that this whole story revolves around. Sam, who was uh, like, he was a really good wrestler. I think he won state or he placed in state for his state. And Justin, who was like a decent wrestler, but no one had seen him wrestle actually at this point. And he was just from like a, like a town over. And he was just some kid, like basically. In the town that I lived in, the college was very, very predominantly like sport based. So if you weren't doing a sport, you basically had nothing to do 90% of the time. Like you basically did nothing. And the kids that were like suspended or like couldn't couldn't do their sport for like the first 90 days would basically get pissed drunk every chance that they could. Like Monday through Friday, they would just get pissed drunk and like not care. And another thing to note is the dorms, right? There were two different types of dorms and the nicer dorms were like two little houses. There were like two little rooms. It was like a sink. And then in between, in the middle, they shared a bathroom. And so it would be like a door on each side. There'd be a room over here, a room over here, a bathroom in the middle. And the room would have two beds like for two people to live in. So four people would share one bathroom and but and there were two different rooms and it wasn't uncommon for like people in one half of the room to go into the like to go into their neighbor's half of the room and hang out and like use their playstation or watch tv or something we were in justin's room with me sam and like maybe four other people sam's drunk he's suspended for the first 90 days with justin they're both suspended so sam's drunk and like for whatever reason he has like a grud he's pissed at uh justin and Justin's in class right now. So Sam thinks it's funny to take a video of him taking Justin's hat and wiping it in between his sweaty, hairy Mexican ass, okay? This was very, very nasty. I watched this happen and I was like, oh shit, like this is just, this is just a time bomb. Like, like shit is about to blow up any minute now. Any minute now, okay? He wipes his ass with the hat, someone takes a video of it. And like he ends up going to his room and then leaving for whatever reason. And within the next, I swear, like 30 minutes to an hour, Justin gets out of his class and like he heads over to the dorm and we're all sitting there and like we're like we're just waiting to see who's gonna tell him. And finally someone cracks and then someone shows him the video. I was watching him from a distance and you could see the gears turning in his head. Wait, that's my that's my poster. And 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 that's my hat. What's he doing to my hat? As quickly as he said that, he set the phone down. He gets up, walks in across the bathroom and into Sam's room. And like, we could not get up and follow him fast enough. I'm telling you, okay? So everybody gets up, crowds the bathroom, tries to get out. And as soon as I poke my head out, like out of the door to like lean over, you see Justin's pants down by his ankles, his willy out, and he's peeing all over Sam's bed on the second uh, second bunk. He's peeing all over it, dude. His pillow, his bed, his sheets, his blanket, everything, dude. He peed all over it. As soon as this happened, as soon as it became biological, I was like, all right, shit is hitting the fan. I gotta stick around for this. I cannot leave, like I cannot leave. And I was just like a bystander. Like this very rarely happens where I just like watch crazy shit happen. Within like within the next 30 minutes, someone calls Sam, tells him what happened. He goes over, he walks into his room. He sees the biological warfare that was committed on his bed. And like he smells the piss and he gets furious, like steaming mad, steaming, steaming mad. Okay, and he goes outside, he later, he goes to the bathroom, bangs on the door, he won't answer. He goes outside, he bangs on the door. Eventually someone opens the door. Like, as soon as Sam and Justin make eye contact, Sam's like, I'm gonna beat your ass. And they both go outside and they go behind the building. And like within five seconds, within five seconds, Sam punches Justin at least five times in the face. Uh, Sam goes for a double leg, Justin defends. 
And then Justin ends up getting put in a front headlock. Like, I don't even remember how. And then all of these basketball players come in and they're like protesting to stop the fight and to like stand them back up. And then all the wrestlers come in like within five seconds. They're like, no, let them fight. Let them fight. And then like one kid comes in who's like friends with both of them. And he's like, no, you shouldn't fight. Everyone stop. And then we're like, fuck you. Let them fight. <laughs> and we're like, let them fight. A bunch of people were taking videos and shit. We ended up letting them fight. Sam ends up beating up Justin's ass. Everyone goes back to their room and like we're all talking about it we're like oh shit that was crazy like oh shit whatever and then our wrestling coach found out and i'm telling you it could not have hit it shit could not have hit the fan worse than when our wrestling coach found out because it was like this kid was about to lose his scholarship and this kid was about to kick get kicked out of school over this bullshit like over this bullshit i'm telling you it was so stupid and of course they had me in the video like like you see you see the kid come in and then immediately you see me like in my hat and like a bunch of people behind me start screaming like no no let him fight let him fight like my coach is pissed at me for that do not get into stupid pointless fights the consequences will not be worth it you know what i mean it's gonna suck way more getting punished than like the actual fight you know what i mean if you guys like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button but until next time i'll see you guys peace